It's My Life is the PBS Kids website for tweens to explore, you guessed it, life and the stuff we all deal with every day. Whatever problem you're having, whether it's an issue with your friends, family, school, body, or emotions, others have gone through the same thing. You can get info and advice, play games, take quizzes and polls, and share your experiences with young people all over the world. On this IML special, we'll see tweens take on issues that are important to all of us. That's what It's My Life is all about. I don't spend my money any wiser than I would when I was like in kindergarten. When I was in sixth grade, I used to like save up my money. And I had like for the whole entire year, I did chores, <laughs> I worked off some jobs. Like just little tiny jobs, nothing that you would consider it as your jobs. And I had like at the end of the year, I had around like $350. And once I got into seventh grade, like in one week, it was just gone. Something I want, but I don't know what I want right now. <laughs> I save for some cool stuff that I want. I just put it in a globe. I have like this little globe lamp and I put my money in it just to save it. But this little girl came over and broke it, found my money and just... <laughs> Abercrombie clothes. Nice. It's, it's hard for me to save things. I also like hide it somewhere and then like I forget about it and I find it again. I'm like, it, it's like discovering something totally new. I save my money because I like to have a lot of money. I don't, my mom normally keeps my money. I don't think I really keep track of my money. I think it depends on like how much money I actually have like saved up. Because if it's a low portion of money, I can keep track of it. But if I have like a lot of money, I end up spending it like really quickly. So I won't really keep track. Like I just had $80 and I spent it in like five days. I don't know how I just did. Cause I took like a little bit of money from my drawer each day and then it was just disappeared when I came home last night. It was all gone. So. I don't really keep track of my money until like a year after and then I count it all out and see how much I have and then I usually blow it on shopping. I don't really keep track of my money because like, like if I have a lot of money I think it's best that I don't know how much I have. Cause then I know, I know myself, I know I would spend it, like right away. I never keep track of my money. I keep it in my piggy bank. Just random stuff that I think looks good and some video games. Clothes, shoes, makeup. Uh, the most expensive stuff I can buy. I spend my money, what do I spend my money on? I think I usually spend on magazines and gum. <laughs> Clothes, shoes, candy, yeah, a lot of candy. It depends on like how expensive it is. Cause I mean like if it's five dollars, I don't care if there's something else up there that's like four ninety nine. Yeah, like sometimes when I'm in the mall, I always try to see like if I know that I can get an article of clothing somewhere else, then I'll go see where else I can get the same exact thing and like compare the prices. Even if it's five cents, whatever's cheaper. And some places I do, like places that usually have expensive clothes, because I want to get something cheaper. I just buy it if it's there and it's reasonable. Only if something is really expensive, like a hundred dollars. If something's like ten dollars, it doesn't really matter. I definitely can imagine myself because I just bought an SAT book like two weeks ago and I don't really want it. Like I spent $25 on that book and it was really expensive to me. A highlighting machine from Con Air that it doesn't really work. I think I bought a book one time for $20 and I had to buy it myself and I don't even know where that book is and I don't even remember what it's about so I regret that. $20 just slipped through my fingers like butter. It was terrible. I bought this game for my Game Boy and 
I beat it in a day and it was like 50 bucks. 